I think the most memorable period of time for me was the time from 1975 to about probably the year 2000 when the special education program was apparently one of the best special ed programs in the country. Yes, in those days we had about 70 students a year graduating across the different areas of special education and uh, because they were short of special education people, uh, all of the students always got a job. And I remember in those days, one of the uh, markers for success of university programs from governments was the rate of employment of students after they had graduated. So uh, using that as a standard, uh, we were doing very, very well. And this is uh, so even today. Uh, currently, you know, over the last 10 years, I have still been involved with teaching in the special ed, special ed program and uh, our graduates all now get jobs if they want one. Yeah, uh, one quirky little story is, you know, these days universities are measured uh, in terms of their success by the amount of involvement they have in research and gaining research grants. I'll never forget the first research grant that I got from a government department. I had to go along to the then director of the Brisbane College of Advanced Education and I really had to convince him to sign the documents to get the money out of this government department in order to do some research for them. See, in those days, teaching of students was paramount in uh, those institutions and it was very, very difficult for me to convince the director to sign the paperwork to get the research money. These days it would be the complete opposite.